guys so we have unboxed our 48 inch snow cone maker cart and this one is really beautiful um, it has a capacity uh, it can hold enough snow for approximately 72 snow cones so the stainless steel cutting blade can shave two pounds of ice in just 90 seconds so that's quite good and also the the snow chamber is um, it's clear from all views so you can watch fluffy snow pile up and it also includes uh, base storage compartments to keep all of your supplies organized and it includes a snow cone holder those two holes there you can see that's the snow cone holder and um, it is also it can be used for countertop because the top can separate from the cart so it will fit on a kitchen countertop so um so far this is a really good buy we love it and um i would definitely recommend it to all of you if you want to buy one nostalgia is a good brand okay hi guys so today we're going to um try out um using our carnival snow cone by nostalgia so today we're going to instead of making snow cone we're going to make halo 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 by the way is a filipino dessert everybody loves it so i don't know if you guys have heard about it but it's a yummy yummy dessert so we're gonna take this out and we're gonna remove this and we're gonna put our eyes over here all of it huh? yeah. let's see and then we'll add some more Tabunan, but it's it. I don't know. Try again. Some more to I don't want to okay so this is all there is. It's a lot, hey? So now I'm gonna show you how we're gonna make our halo halo. Hi everyone! So now we have our um, shaved ice. So now I'm gonna show you how we make the halo halo. Halo halo, by the way, it's a Filipino dessert that is so popular in the Philippines and it tastes really good. I don't know if you heard about it. Um, so I'm gonna show you the ingredients that we have for Halo Halo. So we have beans. I have two kinds of beans here. This also comes in bottles that you can buy in Asian stores. This one is Kaong and Nata de Coco. Oh, like it, they come like this. So this is the Kaong and nata di coco and we also have uh, um, coconut strings because we still have yeah here yeah, this coconut strings and we have jackfruit or langka and then we have corn kernels 
and then this is sweetened banana and we have lychee if you want to um, put some in your halo halo for a twist so and try how it tastes this one is leche flan you have to make this ahead of time maybe one day I will show you how to make uh, leche flan and then you're gonna you're gonna need sugar sugar as well and then um, evaporated milk okay so let's get this one i use a bowl because it's um easier because when you're mixing all the ingredients it's much um easier to do so let's put some ice in the bowl ice. shaved ice right so i can can put your sugar in between so that when you mix it it's like easier it's up to you how how sweet you want it this is very little like teaspoon then you can add uh, more shaved ice okay so now we can put all the ingredients on top. So let's start with put some jackfruit and then yeah, just everything on top of it. Your kaong and nata di coco. Beans. Then this one also your banana. And we have this one here. So this is the coconut coconut strings. So these are young coconut um, that they have it sweetened, like candied. Okay, and then our uh, lychee. You can make more ice so that it like pops out. Looks nice. And I forgot we have ice cream as well. So this one is the leche flan. So you can put some and then we have our this is ube or taro so it's um it's a philippine brand and it just makes your halo halo more delicious okay so you can put ice cream let's do a double scoop and lastly you put milk this is the evaporated milk. So depends how much you want. So there's our halo halo. Thank you everyone for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to Bixel channel. Um, watch for more videos coming. Don't forget to like and subscribe.